please like, comment, subscribe, and share. It's simple and it helps me grow. Today's it helps topic. Me the content right, for seems you. like the guys from Fresh and Fit are really upset. We are better than you niggas. Period. All right, the first thing I want y'all to take note of is preach and how stoic he is. This man does not say a word until the very end. Okay? Clearly he's bothered by something and it's reflected all over his face. The second thing I want you to make note of is exactly what Abba is saying. In no way did he assassinate anyone's character or appearance or family or country. Okay? And you could, you could see the maturity and the integrity in the way he speaks. If you want to know our thoughts, I'm going to keep it really brief. All right? I don't have much thoughts on their platform. Are they doing some good things for some people? I'm sure. I have no doubt. I'm not even denigrating that. We just came at them for their ideas with regards to uh, paying for box and all this stuff. Thought it was full of shit. But all we talked about were these ideas and how they were hypocritical. Here's the thing. You guys been blowing us up, man. Yeah, you guys, been, you guys been blowing us up with DMs Comments. and everything. Apparently, uh, Abba and Preach decided to make a video uh, talking smack out of nowhere, out of left field. For the record, none of this is out of left field, okay? If you are a content creator and you're putting out content, you are leaving yourself open to criticism and reaction, okay? So nothing is out of left field, no matter how long it takes for somebody to react to it, okay? And, and, it's, uh, and it's funny about capping and, and paying for box. And I was like, didn't we talk about this several months ago? Like, why are you guys bringing this up like now? Like, what the hell? We're trending, man. Yeah. The only reason we brought it up later is because we already covered a couple of videos from that podcast and the second one after. And this, we, we did both podcasts on the same day. The first one, and then I did, came back later on for the second one. I completely forgot about the first one. So I covered the second one, and then months later, somebody sent me a link to it. It's like, hey, what did you think about this conversation? So I rewatched it. I'm like, hey, man, there's a lot of dumb things that were said. Let me cover it. It's not that deep. And keep watching Preach, y'all. Keep your eye on Preach, man. That is the eye of somebody who he's got something. <laughs> Just keep your eye on Preach. If you've ever seen anybody look like this, like that's the look your your mother or your father gives you before they whoop your ass. Okay, this whole idea that like, there's some giant conspiracy is not that deep. But anyways, if you guys want to know, that was why. We're trending, man. Yeah. We're popping right now. But then I did, as always, men lie, women lie, numbers don't, right? And then I thought to myself, why would they bring this up now? Uh, Chris, can you show Exhibit A real fast? Uh, so let's see here. Uh, they got, let's see. These guys have almost a million more subs than us, guys. All right? So we're the blue line. We're the blue line. They're the red. They have 1.38, which is 1,380,000 1, subscribers. Guys, we only have 430,000 subscribers. Yep. Okay? We have literally like one th less than one-third of their joint, right? I don't know if it's just me. And I wanted to refrain from doing anything like this to talk about these guys personally, but yo, Fitz's voice is annoying as hell. Did he did he suck a helium balloon before this? Did somebody speed up the audio? Like, yo, his voice is real nasally and annoying. And we got 20 million views, and they got 14.9 million views. Ouch. Hmm. Very interesting for you guys to go ahead and make a video insulting us. For the record, I am still waiting for the video where they insulted you. Still waiting for that one. Months after the fact, I wonder why. Oh, it's because we're hotter than you guys right now. All this talk about we make so much money, we're getting all these views, these guys are clout chasing. Bruv, when I came on your podcast, your podcast was far smaller. I didn't care that you guys were a smaller podcast. I was like, cool. You guys seem to do some kind of interesting content. I'll just jump on. I'm not the type of nigga who looks at people and judges their value or their uh, perception of me based off of how many followers they have or how many views they get. We cover people who are far larger than us and who have way bigger platforms. And we cover people with 100 subscribers. We don't come at people based off of the size they following they have. We talk about ideas. If you think back about the video, when we said all that stuff about boxing this, it was on the topics. We didn't talk about Fresh's past. We didn't talk about him faking press releases. We didn't talk about you paying for box. We didn't talk about none of that shit. Until just now, right there, <laughs> when you talked about it. But yeah, petty is as petty does. You know, you get the energy that you put out. Right, Fresh and Fit? I mean, even though he may have subconsciously just did it. I mean, he did it, but they had it coming. You guys are getting so hyper emotional about this thing. It's funny to me. For so-called alpha males, you guys don't seem to have any control over your temper. And that is a very valid point. While Preach just sits there in silence. Completely stoic. Stone-faced. 
<sighs> man, oh man. Our, our, our channel's better than yours. Back. We get more views than you. Trump gets more views than Obama. Who do you think has more influence and respect globally? We've been on less than you. We work harder than y'all niggas. We cut our hair more than you niggas. I think this is the point where Fit needs to look in the mirror and maybe stop cutting his hair so much. Your sunroof is showing, bro. Like, yo, if y'all want to get, get more girls, get more girls, get more girls than y'all niggas. For free! And here comes Fresh with the cap that started this whole thing for free! Come on, man. Free? Really? You call yourself Fresh. He calls himself Fit. If those aren't clout chasing names, I don't know what is. Like, if y'all really, really want to free! Do this, this nigga Preach is married, prior to a fucking beluga whale somewhere. And that's strike one. And probably the reason that Preach has this countenance about him at this current moment. Um, you could tell by his demeanor that if those two guys were in the room, um, you'd see the camera start shaking and then it would go to a test pattern. And y'all niggas talking shit. And how old these niggas are? 40 years old? Yo, yo, all ass niggas too, bro. Like. Okay, uh, I'm over 40, so I take offense to that. I take objection to that statement. Um... And my, my defense to this, since I started getting old myself and my kids started calling me old man, is that um, getting old is better than the alternative, okay? <laughs> Which is not getting old. And um, they should hope for the same thing for their channel. Yo, bruh. I wasn't gonna do this! Wait, the, the, the hand symbol? Yo, I was not gonna oh, fucking do this! Oh, international. But y'all got me hyped now! <laughs> And this guy is supposed to be the alpha male, clearly coming out of his, or maybe into his character, totally losing control of his emotions, um, and wearing an Aunt Jemima hat. <laughs> Yo, I know you guys are not talking, bro. My man Abba looks like he got off a camel, hasn't cut his hair in years. <laughs> okay, I said this myself, uh, Abba, you are in the public eye, man. A haircut is not too far-fetched of a thing. And bro, get some new shirts, please. I love you guys. Abba, come on, bruv. Hit me up. I got you. These guys don't know what the hell they're talking about. I got you. I can make you an international sex symbol, okay? <laughs> dusty as fuck! Other thing is, anyone who is as dusty as fuck is not clout chasing, okay? Because the first thing you do when you clout chasing is you hook yourself up. You go get a chain, you go get some, you know, especially if you got some money. These guys, they're talking about these guys only having 14 million views. Yo, these guys got over 300 million views total. So there's that. Yo, bruh. And this is Sudan he roasting on you right now, bro. We, bruh. You Somali? Yo. I was like, yo, what anime you came from, bro? Now, yo. nigga looking bummy as hell, bro. I money, you, right? I ain't looking on a nigga, because obviously, you know what I'm saying, that's his style. I go like, bro. We're better than you niggas. We make more money than you niggas. We got a better fucking channel than y'all niggas. We get more views than y'all niggas. The only thing you guys got on us it's is numbers. you guys been on longer. But I guarantee fucking to you, next year, this time, we're going to lap you motherfuckers. At this point, this deep into the video, I am waiting for them to address the actual reason that Abba and Preach made the video to begin with. Like, so far, they've... It's just been a roast of appearance and character assassination and, to me, clout chasing. If you're talking about how many views you get and how long you've been around, that's that's clout chasing, man. Because you know what? Back. Nobody works harder than us. Nope. Period. We make more money. And, and that's the worst part is that I like, I like to see, I love to see a black man get paid. Get your money. I've never get your money. I if your views are stupid, your views are stupid. But if you're getting paid, get your money. Yeah. That's not what I'm here for. There's That's not what preach is there for. <laughs> Yo, y'all dudes need to take this as a threat. A direct threat. You are in danger. Okay? You are in extreme danger. Somebody gonna have to pull preach off of one of y'all. Not a single person that could ever say that we've ever feigned jealousy or gotten mad about other people succeeding we move at our own pace yeah we've been on the platform long with you congratulations to me it's not even that deep you guys are doing well for yourselves good for you i ain't never been mad at a nigga making money
This is about the idea. So all this talk about clout and all this, you guys have lived in Miami so long and you've been faking your lifestyles for so long that you think everybody is chasing clout, that everybody wants to be with an Instagram baddie. Your whole platform is based around clout chasers. So that's why your mind is warped. Miami's fucked up. That's why the girls you bring on, everyone's like, yo, who are these dumb broads that you bring on? Right? Because they're all clout chasers. So you guys' mindset is all warped and shit. It's not like that everywhere around the world. Not everyone is about clout. If we were about clout, do you think we'd be covering things like this pandemic and all these other issues that fucking derank our YouTube channel? It's not about clout. At the end of the day, it's always about integrity. That's it. For us, it's about integrity. Whether we win or we lose money. Y'all dumbass niggas with the same tired background, same fucking million plaque. We got $200,000 plaques now. And we're going to get a million plaque. And we're going to get the other channel another mil to a million as well. And Fresh's channel is going to hit 100,000. Facts. We are better than you niggas. Period. Fuck out of here, man. And we don't pay for box. These are the kind of like, you know what it's like? You know what it's like? You know, I, I love it that these guys call themselves alpha and all this other stuff. It makes me laugh because they got such bitch energy. It's crazy. Anybody with eyes can see that. These guys can probably look in the mirror and see that. And that's probably why they're so mad right now. Yeah. It's like when you're talking to a girl about a topic. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're talking, you, you all seen this before. You know, you're talking to your girl about a topic and you guys are having a discussion and she's losing the argument. All of a sudden she starts bringing up, she, your dick is small. Like, what does that have to do with economics? <laughs> it's like, they do the same thing. I find it so funny that these guys like think they're alpha and 1% men and all this other stuff, right? They lack integrity. They get upset at the most random stuff. When I was on the podcast and they kicked out that girl, one of the girls beside me was like, yo, you're being emotional. He's like, no, I'm not being emotional. I was like, bro, like, why are you screaming like this? No wonder these girls come on your podcast and don't respect you. You don't command respect. You just yell and get them kicked out. You think that's alpha behavior? The idea that you can't even get respect from these ladies is in an indication of the fact that you don't know what you're doing. It's hyper emotional. You're just screaming and getting mad. I'm laughing at this because it's pathetic. I don't know what's wrong, but every episode I see you just screaming, getting mad, screaming at ladies, railroading like women who aren't prepared with all these stats and numbers. That these ladies are like, "Yo, you want to come on a podcast?" They're like, sure. Uh, it turns out that eight percent of all men. Was, well, how does that have a way to have a discussion? <laughs> just chill, nigga. It's not that deep. This is some advice that everybody should take, especially if you're trying to be an alpha. Control your emotion. Rein it in. Right now. There is nobody more angry than Preach. And this guy is so calm and in control of his emotions that I really, really fear for one of these, for whoever. I really fear for the safety of these two young men. I'm like, yo. Real ass niggas don't and pay for box. Yo, here's the other thing too. Bruh. These guys say real ass niggas don't pay the box. One's on seeking arrangements. The other one, the other one is lying about having three girls at one time. Shut the fuck. The other one, you shut know, the fuck. You up. know, you know what kills me about Fresh? Like, if you listen to him, you know he has no king. It's, no. it's, it's painfully obvious yeah. that this man, like, even when you go watch the, the 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 vlogs that he does, he's like, he has this whole thing. Don't lead with money. And like in his bunch of his videos, he's like. Hey, girl, I'm going to shower you with gifts. Come on, we're going to go shop for Lambos and Ferraris. I'm like, bruv, if it wasn't for your clout, you wouldn't be out here getting anything. Let's be real. So I find it so funny. It's like talking about paying for box. You want to know why this nigga doesn't want to pay for box? This is his experience. He went to Colombia with his niggas, okay? They went to a brothel. He saw a bad woman, and he's like, oh, wow. She's like, come upstairs with me. He didn't know it was a whorehouse because this nigga is so lacking in self-awareness, you know? He thinks everyone respects him. It's fucking goober, okay? He gets in, and she's like, $20. And he's like, you want me to pay? Nigga, you don't know a whorehouse when you walk into one? Where were you raised? You not? I don't know how you could be a pickup artist and lack this much self-awareness. So he said, I paid the $20, I banged her, and I felt disgusting afterwards. And that's why I'll never pay for box. Bruv. If the first time you eat out is McDonald's burger and you say you hate all restaurants after, that's not a problem with restaurants. restaurants are, <laughs> that's a problem with you. It's a problem with your choices. Here's the thing, the truth about this whole escorting and paying for box. CEOs, NBA players, princes, all of them, they all pay for box. They pay for high-end escorts. Why? Discretion. Expertise. Okay, I don't care how much your girl loves you and all that other stuff. If she hasn't studied sex, if she hasn't done all that shit, if she hasn't taken the time to really learn, 
She's not as good as other people. This whole idea of like, if she have enthusiasm, nigga, you ever been with a girl that's really into you and she's using her teeth on your blowjobs? She got all the enthusiasm in the world. It's never gonna be a substitute for technique. The only niggas who are this dumb are men who not had a lot of sex or men who never paid for good box. Even Kevin Samuels will come in and say, I paid for box. I paid for women to come with me. Cause he's a real nigga. Patrice O'Neal pays for box. The highest niggas in the game, they pay for box. Not all the time, but sometimes it's convenient. Uh, so you want me to tell you time, that you but... working at your middle class job, you know more about what's being alpha and all this than the CEOs, the most famous and rich people in the world? Okay, so yeah, their niggas is beta because they pay for box. But you, right, working at the company as a minimum wage worker for their company, you think you know more about what it means to be alpha. Get him out of here. Just don't pay for box. Say it's not for you. It's not for everyone. It's okay. It's but paying $100 for a hooker and then saying, it's not as good as a random girl I met on the street. Probably not. You pay for shit. Sometimes you get shit service. You pay well, you get better service. It's not complicated. These guys talk like they're knowledgeable about this stuff. And the very people they admire pay for box. Go have this conversation with Kevin then. Go. Go have this conversation with real niggas. Go ahead. With the NBA players. The same NBA player that made you uh, bang three girls in one night. Yeah. Fuck up. You know that was so stupid about that, that story? This guy, man, wants me to believe he's at a pool party. Okay? He was Random pool party. He's at a pool party. This NBA player comes up to him. He's like, oh, oh my God. Man, do you know where the coolest parties are? He's like, yeah, here, here. It's he's like, can I, can, can I have can your, your Instagram? Can I have your Instagram? Oh, man, we, we fucked the same girl? <laughs> oh, my God, we, we was in the same pussy? Yo, Bro, I got, a, story. I, 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 got, I got a mansion party tomorrow. Why don't you come over and we're going to get it lit? So the guy, hold on. So the guy that was looking for the hottest party happens to have a mansion party the next day. Get the fuck out of here with your bogus ass party. So he needed your help to find a party in town, but he got a mansion party with 50 girls that are rolling through. And let me ask you, bro. Let me ask you, in this made-up scenario where you're capping the fuck out of possibilities, you want me to believe that this man had 50 girls and none of them were paid? Long story short, Fresh challenged Preach to a boxing match. Preach accepted the boxing match with Fresh and Fit, even though Fit didn't challenge him. Fit gonna have to get in the ring after Fresh gets his ass whooped. And I hope you're as fit as you think you are. Anyway, go check out both of their pages. Um, check out uh, Fresh and Fit first. All right? Get that out of the way. It's like eating a meal and you got Brussels sprouts and steak on the plate. You just eat the Brussels sprouts so you can enjoy the rest of your meal. So after you check out Fresh and Fit, then go watch Abba and Preach. Beyond this story, you're going to learn something. I promise. And in case you didn't know what side I am, I'm Team Abba and Preach. Okay? The 40-year-old guys, we got to stick together. All right? One.